Hey again, this is Callum from Termo's Chester, and today I have a bowl of the confidently named Luxury Blend from Peterson's. Now, for such an uh, evocative name, it's actually a relatively simple mix of tobaccos. Uh, it's Virginia, Burley, and Cavendish, classic trio, with a casing of honey and vanilla. I don't know if I've mentioned it before, but when I first got into the trade, I was obsessed with a tobacco called Black Honey by Peter Stockerby. It was the first tobacco I really, really got into when I first started smoking a pipe. And so to law, it went off the market within about two months of me getting into it, and I've never been able to find anything like it again. So I'm always on the lookout for a good honey blend. And this one does really well. The tobacco itself is mild, the, uh, the flavouring is the most sort of forward of the taste. Personally, I do think the vanilla comes through a little bit more, so it's not quite reaching the black honey that I was so in love with, but there's a good chance I've just built that up in my memory now, and nothing ever is going to quite catch up to it, as is sometimes the case. Um, interestingly, I do find, they don't mention this from the manufacturers, but I get a slightly fruity hint as well, and like a citrus fruity hint. When I first opened the tin, my immediate thought, um, along with the vanilla and honey, was oranges. Which is quite cool because I think uh, citrus fruit is something that often gets overlooked in tobacco in favour of uh, flavours like cherry. Uh, so it's always nice to see when you get a bit of a taste in that because it is a bit different. So I'd say um, it's worth trying and I do think Peterson aromatics of this style get overlooked sometimes. They, uh, at least from what I see, it seems to be things like the uh, Irish Flake, the University Flake, that seems to be the more popular of the Petersons, your more traditional English style tobaccos. Um, but, uh, oh, especially since they've taken on the Dunhill brand as well, which are very, very much like traditional blends. So I think it's unfair because they do some really, really nice, uh, the cased sweet aromatics as well. But I think some people miss out on that because they don't associate them with Petersons. So if you're one of those people, I definitely recommend giving this a try. I think it will pleasantly surprise you. If you do want to try it, it's available, as always, at termos.com. If you do try it, I hope you like it and let us know what you think. And as always, if you like these videos, don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more in the future. Until next time, thank you for watching and I'll see you soon. Cheers.